What's going on folks, Rick here. I'm back with another video and I'm here to do a quick unboxing of the Spigen LG G7 ThinQ liquid crystal case. Now again, uh, I usually go with the ultra hybrid cases. However, Spigen does not offer the ultra hybrid case for the G7. So if you want a minimalist uh, clear backed case from Spigen, you're gonna have to go with the liquid crystal. Now, the fundamental differences between the Ultra Hybrid and the Liquid Crystal is the Liquid Crystal is a soft TPU case all around. The Ultra Hybrid, this portion is a hard plastic and this edge is a softer type plastic. So that's the differences between the two. Not that big of a deal for me, so I decided to go with the uh, Liquid Crystal because I do uh, like to rock speaking cases for the most part. Uh, real quick, let's take a look at the box. Um, it's slim and soft and it has their patented air cushion technology. If you take a look at this edge and this rim right over here, as soon as we do the unboxing, I'll show you guys uh, a bit of those um, pocket cushions that they have on all four corners. So without further ado, let's move the G7 to the side. All right, not much there in, in packaging. It's basically letting you know how to install, how to remove. It's fairly cut and dry. All right, so I picked I picked up this case on Amazon for about $14.99, which is a good price for any case for that matter. So one of the big questions I get usually from people when I do Spigen uh, clear case reviews is yellowing, discoloration, and things of that nature. So you have to look at this in, in a realistic perspective. Now, if you pay $14.99 for a case, something like this, and you get six months to a year out of it, I really think you're getting your money's worth. This is not going to last you two years, three years, four years. This is a clear case. Uh, there might be some discoloration on the edge, which I've noticed a lot uh, from a lot of speaking cases going in and out of pockets and dirt and debris and things of that nature. The back usually stays the same color, but the edge, the um, plastic edge around the, um, the corners of the case wind up uh, turning colors. Some get yellow, some get like a tinted type of look. I've gotten uh, tinted looks to it. Uh, so if you get six months to a year out of it and you have to pay $14.99 for another case, a lot of case manufacturers like Outer Box, they charge ridiculous prices like 50, 60 bucks for a case. So for $14.99, if you have to pick up two in the lifespan of a phone that most people will probably hold on to for maybe a year to two years, then listen, $30 for, for two of these, you got your money's worth. So what else comes in the box? Quick instructional booklet of how to wipe down uh, the back of your actual case so it looks nice and clean so as soon as you put your phone inside there there's not fingerprints on the case which will give your phone a dirty look and then you have a wet wipe there to support that cleaning so real quick let's slap this on the d7 thing q now i've gotten this case for about two days but i haven't had the opportunity to do a review so i've been rocking my phone without a case and it's been a scary proposition to have this phone without a case for a couple of days because it is very slippery uh let's go through a quick hardware tour on the left you have your uh indentations for your volume up and down uh keys you have your dedicated dedicable dedicated google assist key on the bottom you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cutout which is fairly wide so it should be suitable suitable for all kinds of headphones uh, you have a port for your your microphone and again you have a larger cutout for your USB type C um, and then you have your speaker grill cutout and then like I mentioned before let's try to get zoomed in a little bit over here here is the air cushion technology so I don't know if you can see that right there there's about little pillows or little uh, like air cushions on each corner of the actual case so like I said in a few of my other reviews when you drop your phone most likely it's not gonna be uh, flat like this or face forward uh, most of the time you're gonna drop your phone at an angle and it's probably gonna gonna fall down like at an edge or at an angle 
and a lot of people suffer from cracks here at the corner. My wife's uh, Galaxy 9 already has a crack like that because she had she didn't have a case on it at the time. Um, so yeah, let's continue the hardware tour. Over here you have your um, cutout here for your power button. And up top you just have a microphone cutout. Um, and then you have some branding here from Spigen, letting you know that it's air cushion technology, pretty high tech. Uh, up here on the back, you do have a raised lip, so even if you're face facing it flat on any surface, you're not gonna um, accidentally damage the lens here or scratch up the lens, which is good. And then you have this curvature here to let you know where the uh, fingerprint scanner actually is. So that was a quick, unboxing and first impressions of the Spigen liquid crystal case. Uh, I find this to be a very well-made case. It's very sturdy and for the money you, you, you can't go wrong. At this price point, uh, you're gonna find on eBay and Amazon a lot of Chinese, a lot of bootleg knockoff companies and just go with a name brand company that you know is good, you know is reputable. Uh, if there's any issue with the case, a lot of times they refund your money and let you have it uh, free of charge and they're pretty good with their customer service. So rely on the people that do it on a, on a daily basis and do it well and Spigen is one of those companies. All right guys, that was my initial review and unboxing of the Spigen Liquid Crystal case uh, for the LG G7. If you have any comments or any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.